brothers and sisters in Christ, here I am again. I will post now the last part of the spoken words of our Godfather Yahweh. Okay, as usual, let me I repeat the verse from the Bible. Second book of Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 16, it says, But they mocked the messengers of God, despised his words, and scoffed at his prophets, until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people, till there was no remedy. So, so that it will remind his people. Before I go on, let us give first praise, honor, and glory to our one and only beloved loving God, Father Yahweh, our infinite creator, through his son, Yeshua Mashiach, who is coming as the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, very soon. So, I'll start now here. He continues, I am Yahweh, the creator of creation. You rebels who are like unto a Judas, you rebels worship the creation and worship created objects. So this is true. Many worship created objects. You rebels refuse to obey Yahweh and Yeshua before the foundation of the earth. And now you refuse to obey Yahweh and Yeshua today. Yahweh have a warning to all the political and spiritual leaders who refuse to speak out against and vote against what you know my holy scriptures condemn as abominations and sin. You have compromised with Satan. You betrayed Yahweh before the foundation of the earth and betray Yahweh now. Take your comfort now in your wealth and possessions, for truly that is the only comfort you will have for all eternity. Your next bed shall be in hell, and then the lake of fire, where worms shall be your sheets and maggots your blankets. You worldly musicians, Satan has given you the gift of deceiving people in what is called music. I am Yahweh, blessed some souls who I created with a beautiful voice and musical talents. When I gave this gift, I intended it to be a blessing unto I, Yahweh. Then you betrayed I, Yahweh, before the foundation of the world, and now the majority use this gift to glorify Satan, to lull souls to a spiritual sleep to plant demonic spirits deep within and to lead people astray with a hypnotic voice and a satanic beat. Some of you who call yourselves musicians don't even realize what Satan is doing and how Satan has used you. If you don't repent, you shall dance at the tune of Satan's feet and together with him you shall be tortured in the lake of fire that is oh so deep. The suffering you cannot begin to conceive. A warning to most actors and musicians. You sold your soul for Satan's promise of fame and fortune and you signed Satan's contract and made a deal. Now, your sinful lifestyles to the world you flaunt your body boast and reveal and homosexuality you no longer try and hide and conceal. Mock now, pay later, for you will feel I, Yahweh's great wrath very shortly. Know this, all of human creation, know that I am Yahweh and my beloved son Yeshua, at our thrones, all shall bow and kneel. All souls were created and tested at the same time. Only the souls that were loyal and fought against Lucifer before the foundation of the world now carry the redemption seal. 
this is the truth I am using my daughter and handmaiden to reveal what Satan has tried to hide and conceal. All those with spiritual ears to hear and spiritual eyes to see will hear Yahweh's voice, for you are my sheep. You will no longer be blinded to the truth. All souls, as once were rebels, will be again and remain spiritually deaf and blind and continue to follow Satan's path by swallowing Satan's lies. To those of my children who have prayed and wept and wondered why Yahweh allowed these abominations, I remind you again, judgment starts at the house of Yahweh. Study book of Ezekiel chapter 9. Which one are you? The good versus evil battle is again being played out on earth as it has done in heaven before the foundation of the earth. Every soul created was tested. Only if you were loyal with the battle with Lucifer will you accept my son Yeshua now on earth as Messiah slash God. The first battle was in the spiritual realm in heaven. Now you battle Satan and his servants now here on earth using Yahweh and Yeshua's spiritual weapons that I, Yahweh, have given you in the name of Yeshua through the shed blood of Yeshua. So this is very true. Very few know this. I, Yahweh, sent my holy ones to fight on top of hell, to fight against Satan and all that is unholy. To be a witness for Yahweh and Yeshua's glory and to prove my children are more than conquerors through Yeshua HaMashiach the name and the blood of my only begotten son. That is again true. Many say they care, but how few prove they care. I told this to my handmaiden when she was praying. Ayahweh, speak forth, is a blessing, and yet many don't do anything to help lift the heavy load or be a blessing in any way. I speak this again through her. You must put action behind your words. So that is serving him. If we put our action, our, oh, excuse me, if we put his words, what we have learned from the Bible into action, that is what he means here. I repeat, I speak this again through her. You must put action behind your words. You must not only say you care, but prove you care. Rebuke on warn those who do abominations and love and support those that are putting action behind my holy words. Faith without works is dead. Woo be, woo be unto a creation who doesn't worship the creator of all. Only the potter has the authority to destroy his clay vessels. Some vessels were created to bring me glory, and some were only fit for destruction. Look around you. Even the sun explodes with my fiery rage like never before. I sent my holy angel to this prophet months ago with this prophetic message as my holy angel dictated it to her while standing beside her bed she wrote this prophetic message down where I share a secret yet untold until now my holy angel told her now e, my, excuse me, my holy angel told her now is not the time to release this message it was for an appointed time now is the time to reveal what was concealed. I tell my secrets to my apostles and prophets and all who listen. I am Yahweh, sealed it as he 
could not read her own handwriting except one part which is in apostrophe my greatest army is not registered on earth but is registered in heaven it is found in the book of revelation chapter 4 verse 8 chapter 11 verse 17 chapter 15 verse 3 and chapter 16 verse 7 So this prophet is sent out now and released now as said in the book of Ezekiel chapter 9 to seal with his word to those who are marked with the seal of protection and the fine linen garment that is worn stands for the righteousness of my son Yeshua. The appointed day is the day before a homosexual is ordained. From hell is a bishop in one of the Episcopal, Episcopalian church. I speak the secrets and warn once again, come out of the churches of Babylon, my children, flee, flee the church of Babylon. So I repeat these last uh, words of him. I speak the secrets and warn once again, Come out of the churches of Babylon. Flee, my children, flee the churches of Babylon. So, Babylon here is the churches of all religion because there is no truth in there being preached. So, this is spoken, so it is written on this day of 11th of January. 2015, oh, 2003, at 11.15 a.m., 2.45 p.m., given to this prophet, the child of Yeshua and Yeshua, on a Sabbath day. So, the, those were the spoken words of our beloved Father God, Yahweh, and I affirm to all what is spoken, because that is what we see, what we all hear spoken by others who are not his children. So there is still time and may I still make use of the time by Saying, quoting this word in the book of Jeremiah, the cup of God's wrath, that is in chapter 25. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, said to me. Take from my hand this cup filled with the wine of my wrath and make... All the nations to whom I send you drink it. When they drink it, they will stag stagger and go and mad because of the sword I will send among them. So there was a vision of the sword. This is to be used on Judgment Day. So I took the cup from the Lord's hand and made all the nations to whom he sent me drink it, Jerusalem and the towns of Judah, its kings and officials, to make them a ruin and an object of horror and scorn and cursing as they are today. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, his attendants, his officials, and all the people, and all the foreign people there, all the king of Uz, all the kings of the Philistines, those of Askelon, Gaza, Ekorn. So that is the cups of wrath. So the time is almost up. I have given you a glimpse of judgment. What he said will be done. So his warning is long enough for us to repent. Otherwise we'll perish on judgment day. Thank you for 
your time of hearing this and God bless you all.